Our story begins in Alexandria, Egypt, around 370 AD. A dazzling intellectual capital, home to the greatest library in the ancient world. Here, in a world dominated by men, lived Hypatia. Her father, the esteemed mathematician Theon, oversaw her rigorous education in science, philosophy, and mathematics. Hypatia became a brilliant scholar in her own right, authoring commentaries on classical texts. She preserved and clarified works on algebra and complex geometry, like the properties of conic sections. Her intellect drew students from across the Mediterranean, making her the revered head of Alexandria's Platonist school. She taught with charisma and logic. Beyond theory, she was an innovator, credited with refining tools like the astrolabe for astronomy and the hydrometer for measuring liquid density. Her reputation grew, and she became an influential advisor to the city's Roman governor, Orestes, elevating her to the center of Alexandria's political stage. Yet, the city was volatile. In an era of intense religious conflict, Hypatia, a prominent pagan Neoplatonist, became a dangerous symbol of the Old World. In March of 415 AD, Hypatia was ambushed by a mob of Christian zealots. Her brutal murder was a chilling blow against intellectual freedom. Hypatia's death is often seen as the final act of Alexandria's great classical era, but her legacy as the first known female mathematician endures, a martyr for science and reason.